Hi friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a scrapbook process and it is something actually out of my ordinary. You just saw a little um, sneak peek at the beginning of the video. Rather than doing a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout using my Cricut, I actually took a cue from my December daily and decided to create a more interactive, just for fun sort of page inside my album. So this page is actually a tabbed page divider. It measures about eight by 10, and it's actually going to be a pocket that houses um, two pictures, and then there's going to be one picture that's going to be adhered to the flap of the folder or the pocket that I'm working on right now. I'm just stamping a bunch of hearts on it using Close to My Heart ink from a stamp set that I've had in my stash for a while. I will include all the links to products that I used in the description box down below. If they are not available or not current anymore, I'll include a link to what is current in the Close to My Heart shop. So the pattern paper that I backed the cut file onto is actually not close to my heart. It's pink paisley, if I'm not mistaken, but I have to double check the collection because I can't remember what it comes from um, off the top of my head. Um, I'm still debating whether I'm going to cut the arrow cut file again. By the way, I created this file myself using my Cricut. I found an arrow image that I really liked and just duplicated the image and then attached it to the file um, to create the pattern that you see right now. The hearts at the top of the folder, like the page divider file folder, was actually already there. So I didn't do anything special with that. And then I did the same thing to create the title. I found the best friends image in my Cricut image library. I attached it to uh, just a strip of, actually just a rectangle in design space on my canvas. And then I attached that as well. So it would become one image. And then I backed retired close to my heart pattern paper behind that cut file and then popped it up with some craft foam just to help it stand out a little bit more. I cut the XOXO and I'm just using the paper that it was cut from as the template to get the spacing correct and the placement correct as well. The Okay, so here's the thing. Um, this page is actually the product of combining two pages that I had designed in Cricut Design Space together. Um, when I sat down to create today, I was looking at the two pictures that I had planned on scrapbooking, and then I realized that there was a third picture from the same period of time, and I was like, why am I creating two separate layouts? when all of these pictures are entirely the same. And actually, if I include all three pictures together, it tells the story a whole lot better than the two pictures I originally was going to use. So I deleted <laughs> the layout I was going to create and actually reworked the second layout to include the pocket, all three pictures, and the journaling together and actually it looks nothing like what was originally planned. I don't have pictures of what the original designs were because I changed them and deleted the other one before I even thought to snap pictures of them. So that's just a little background to how this particular layout came to be and actually this size actually has me starting to think maybe changing sizes and albums would be kind of fun too. I'm not totally sure yet. I like my 12 by 12, but after doing the December daily and then creating this page, I'm kind of thinking that maybe a smaller album for a while, at least anyways, like six by eight or maybe, uh, yeah, probably six by eight would be kind of fun for a little while. We'll see. I'm just thinking about it. Um, it might be too irrational right now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Needless to say, I really enjoy scrapbooking in this size, and I like the idea of having variety in my album if I do stick with a 12 by 12 album. I really liked how my December daily came together and how there was more interactive pieces and then more traditional pages or pieces. And I'd like to do that in my regular albums too. So that's where I'm at. So now I have the main picture um, adhered to the front of the pocket and I'm just working on putting together the doghouse and the cute little um, dog put together as well. I decided to mat the photo that goes on the pocket with some white cardstock. You saw me attach it directly to the pocket, but I didn't like it so much. It needed a bit of a border or something. So I just attached um, white cardstock to the back of that. It measures slightly bigger than three by four inches. And then the two photos that are inside the pocket are actually matted to um, some six by six Momenta paper that I have had in my stash forever and a day. I'm kind of making it a personal goal to try and use my six by six paper pads a little bit more in my crafting, especially for um, backing to cut files and using like I did on the photos just to frame them a little bit. I also used pattern paper from another six by six paper pad, but I don't know what it was offhand. So I'll have to double check that as well. Those will be down in the description box too. So now I'm just working a little bit on embellishing this page. I cut some hearts and they're going to be put around the dog, the poodle, and the dog house. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and work on my journaling. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just trimmed a piece of white cardstock down to about um, four and a half by eight inches and then used a straight edge ruler to mark out lines inside a square. You'll see me draw the lines for the square at the end um, with my journaling pen. I did use a pencil and uh, straight edge ruler to mark the box inside. It's like a border inside the four and a half by eight piece of paper. Here I'm just making that border now. So I centered my journaling inside that box and then did the same on the flip side as well. Um, and then I drew some faux stitching around all four sides of the journaling as well, both on the front and in the back. And with that, this layout is done. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the back side of this page. It's not sitting well with me just leaving it plain. It is patterned paper and it has a really beautiful floral on the back side, but it feels a bit too plain and I want to put something back there. I don't think I will include that in a process video. I'm just letting you know because I think I might do something with it at some point. And if I do, I will post pictures of that to my Instagram. If you're not a follower, on my Instagram, definitely go check it out. I will leave my handle down in the description box below so you can go check that out as well. Any projects that I create that do not have process videos are posted over there, so definitely uh, go check it out. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I really appreciate all of the subscriptions, all your comments. I really, really appreciate the comments. They make my day reading through them. And I hope this layout inspired you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Saturday. And I will be back again soon with some more inspiration for you. I have some close-ups here right now, so feel free to check those out. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you again very soon. Bye.